Hello friends, welcome to this session on scope and namespace of functions. So in this session we are going to discuss about scope of variables and concept of namespace. Let us start this session. The scope corresponding to a function in Python is managed with namespace. And namespace of a function is simply a list of names that are defined in that function. So all the variables which you define in the function can be accessed with the namespace. So it provide you the names of the variables along with their values. So namespace of a function is simply a list of names that are defined in that function together with references to their values. And we can view the namespaces of a particular function by calling an inbuilt function named as locals. So we will be using inbuilt function locals in this session to explain the concept of namespaces. And this also help us to understand the concept of scope of variables. The concept which I am going to present in this session is actually referred from a book titled as Discovery Computer Science interdisciplinary problems principles and python programming so let us understand this concept by taking an example code so let us consider this code again which is used to perform the addition of two numbers we just discussed that namespace of a function can be accessed by using a inbuilt function called as locals so let us add this print statement in our code and here in addition function we are saying that the local variables for addition are and here we are printing the value of locals let us execute this code to see its output so first number two second three and you can see that so the output is so first it is taking the value of first number second number then we are calling this addition function so this first number become 2, second number become 3, then we are calculating the value of result which is 5 and at this point we are printing the value of locals. So if you look closely at this point, how many variables we have in addition? So if you look closely, this addition function is actually using three variables. One is first underscore number second is second underscore number and third is result and what are its value if we are calling this with two and three then this first number will be two second number will be three and result will be five so if you print the value of local at this point it will print the value of first number as two second number as three and result as five let us check this so you can see here first number is two second number is three and result is five after this, this is returning the result which is stored in sum and then we are finally printing the value of sum. So this is the final 5 which is printed as sum. So clearly you can see that this local function is providing us the value of all local variables of addition function at this point. Okay, let us extend this code further and can you tell me what will be the value for this print statement so this local will provide you the name of variables at this point in the main function in main function at this point we have two variables f number and s number so it will provide you the details of these two variables only and then we will be calling addition so if we execute this output can you tell me what is the first print statement which is going to be executed we will be we will be starting from 20 we will be executing main function first of all 15 and 16 will be executed then 17 will be executed so in 17 we will be printing the value of local variables that is f number and s number then this 18 will be executed control shifted here so this print statement will be executed as a second print statement then this is the third print statement which will be executed so the flow will be like this 
first this will print second this will print and third this will print and can you cross check the values so let's suppose the input is 3 at this point its input is let's suppose 2 so this will print you the value of f number and s number as 3 2 here it will print you the value of first number second number and result this print statement and finally this will give you the value of final sum let us execute this to cross check its output so first of all it is asking the value of first number let's suppose this is 3 second number is 2 so first of all this as I discussed this print will be executed first it will print the local variable of main at this point which is f number and s number with 3 and 2 so f number is 3 s number is 2 then the control will transfer to this addition here this local will be printed with three variables first number second number and result let's cross check this so first number second number and result then this is the final print which will be printed the value of sum which is 5 so I hope you got my point and this is the way local works before winding up this session let us add one more print statement here so now can you tell me what will be the output of this print what will be the sequence number of its execution so again the flow will start from here this will be first this will be my second print this will be my third print and this will be my fourth print so this this will going to be my final fourth print at this point how many locals I will be having so it will print all the variables in main at this point so this is the code before this print so how many variables in main we have up to this so yes we have three variables now f number s number and sum so this fourth print will print now three variables f number s number and sum let us execute this code to cross check this so enter first number let's suppose three second number is two so you can see that the final print is added after printing five this is printing three variables f number s number and sum because sum is created at this point and we are printing the locals here so that's why this is printing three variables f number s number and sum so this is the concept of local variables and it only provide you the information about local variable in the function and for this we have the function name locals so this is all about this session there is also a concept to access global variables and for this we have a function named as globals we will be discussing more on globals in our next video session so please join that too. Thanks for watching this video.